Read to you, 138th Psalm, I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods I will sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Did you know the Bible said that? That he magnified his word above all his name. Amen. In the day when I cried, thou answeredest me and strengthenest me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Can you say amen? amen. Though the Lord be high, yet he hath respect unto the lowly. But the proud he knoweth afar off. Amen. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies. Did you hear what he said a while ago? And the Lord gave me this message before church. Amen. And thy right hand shall save me. You think he's doing that? How how many feel like he's doing that for you? Amen. The The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hand. Thou wilt perfect that which concerneth me. God don't have to do nothing. If you'll let him, he'll complete the job. Let him complete the job. It'll be wonderful what God will do for you. Just let him work on you. My little message tonight, revival, the answer to the time of trouble. Revival, the answer to the time of trouble. Of trouble. I got saved in the time of revival in the United States. It had already started by 1947 and was sweeping the world. And God swept me in at the age of 14. Amen. 1948, somewhere around the middle of July, around the 4th of July, the middle of July. Amen. God saved me. And I went through the darkest times of trouble at our house that a boy can ever go through. Amen. I saw my dad leave and stay gone for about three years for the most part. Amen. And eventually... My sister had left, married at the age of 14, moved to Hartford City, Indiana. And eventually my brother left, and I was the only one left to take care of my mom. Amen. But at least there was a little bit of peace around the house, even though she had none. The fighting was over for the time being. I'd stood between my parents and kept them from killing each other. Amen. I've seen blood running down my dad's face where they'd been in another fight. And it tore me to pieces. I didn't know at any moment another big noise, something fall, something drop, a big bang could be the end, the beginning of the end for one of them. I lived on edge and prayed for days. Amen. But you know where I found a refuge? I found a refuge in the house of God. Revival was going on across the land. Our churches was having revival. Praise God. And I want you to know, praise God, that I had revival in the time of trouble. When stark terror and fear 
gripped my soul from the things that was happening around the house. And when depression and disappointment and heartbreak gripped my soul when I saw my mom staring off into space, addicted to drugs, carrying on extended conversation with her demons as she hallucinated for the most part day and night. Amen. Finally addicted to drugs, Doc Cooper told me, said, call me in, said, we're going to have to send her to the state hospital, son. I can't do any more for her. She just wants to stay doped up all the time, said, I can't help her. He signed all the papers. The sheriff came. He was a friend of mine. Had a brand new 1950 uh, one Ford, I guess, or two Ford. 52 Ford. Amen. And I convinced Mom that she's going to have to go for a checkup. And that's all the way I got her to go to the state hospital in Little Rock, Arkansas. We walked in that hospital. Amen. And, and I was preaching now, pastoring now. I built us a new house with shiny new hardwood floors. But there was no peace there because in most of those that lived there, Satan reigned. Power of sin had control. Amen. In the midst of it all, I was having trouble with some folks in my church, some of the same people that helped me to get started preaching. Amen. With a load that was heavier than I could bear, seemed like, as a 16-year-old preacher. Amen. Trying to pastor a church. 17-year-old pastor. Trying to pastor a church. Amen. Well, those dear saints said, the reason I don't pay Brother Collins out loud, right in front of the altar after church, reason I don't pay Brother Collins my tithes is because he takes God's money and takes care of his ungodly mother. I didn't want her to be ungodly. I wanted her to get saved. I wanted her to live for God. And you know what? Eventually, she did. Praise God. Hallelujah. Eventually, God's people joined together. I'd go to visit her at the state hospital, and the psychiatrist would say, I'm sorry to tell you, son, that the, uh, all she gains, she loses. By this time, I'd resigned. My church was on the evangelistic field. Brother Edward Lackey, pastor of Assembly God in Bunker, Missouri, heard my story. I told it everywhere. He said, son, let me know when your mom's healed so I know when to quit praying. Brother, we'd been there at Christmas, and the doctor said every bit of progress she makes, she loses it. It seems, he said, she doesn't want to get well. And I knew why. The one that her life was all wrapped up in was gone. And he, my dad, was her reason for living. And she was escaping into her own world of unreality. She didn't want to get well. Amen. She was escaping. Amen. Brother Edward Lackey and many of the saints told me that in southern Missouri that they was praying. Praise God. Christmas time, a doctor said she's not doing any good. In January, I got a letter saying your mother's condition has reached the ultimate. You can come and get her at your nearest convenience. Amen. I found my dad who was living in Thayer, Missouri. And I told him, I said, the doctor said that mom can come home. And Brother Hughes, 
a miracle of all miracles. Beyond all expectation, amen, Dad went with me to get her and brought her back home, praise God, and they stayed together until they died. Amen. That turned me loose to preach the gospel. That let me have more freedom and liberty to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Praise God. What was it? I was living in a time of revival. Praise God. I was living in a day of God's visitation. And in the midst of it all, Brother Curtis, I found a refuge in the house of God. My troubles probably was the best thing that could have happened to me. They drove me to my knees. They drove me to a closer walk with God. They drove me to faithfulness to the house of God. Amen. And in the midst of trouble, I took refuge in the outpouring of God's Spirit. I went to church everywhere. I went to every revival in the country. Didn't make any difference if it was Baptist. We went to the Baptist revival, praise God. I won more souls in the Baptist brush harbor than the Baptist did. In those days, amen, the country folks in any event was all together anyway. Praise God. They all went to each other's revivals. Hallelujah. I found a refuge, folks, in the house of God. And in the prayers of God's saints. And in my own prayers. And walk with Christ. Praise God. Humility, he said, is a path of revival. He said, uh, he said, though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly. You want God to respect you? Cry out to him. That's what he said. He said, cry out to him. In the day, third verse, when I cried, thou answerest me and strengthenest me with strength in my soul. Yeah. Amen. It seemed that most of my family didn't care. It seemed that most of my family would not. My dad told me on the front steps of that log cabin, son, I can't live for God. I said, Dad, your sins is what caused you all this trouble. Ask God to forgive you and repent. And he said, Son, I can't live for God. He thought he was too tied up by sin. He thought there was too many rivers to cross. But I had found the refuge. I had found peace. I had found the place of rest, of rest. Praise God. Amen. Yes. In the midst of trouble, I cried out. And walking in the midst of trouble, revival after revival, move of God after move of God, fellowship with the saints of God. I want to tell you, God gave me strength to overcome my enemies. Amen. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies. And thy right hand shall save me. That's David talking, but you can take it personal tonight. You can quote it for your own. Thy right hand shall save me. Let's say it together. Thy right hand shall save me. Save me. Amen. Praise God. Listen to what he says. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. <laughs> amen. Revival is for the perfecting of the saints. Every one of you, amen, can witness to that eight weeks of revival. And there's scarcely a one of us but what's higher up the ladder of perfection than we was when this revival started. We felt God. We felt His right hand lifting us up. We felt His power lifting us out. And it's still working right here in this service tonight. Do you feel what I feel? 
you still feel that fire, that little wheel in your soul, that abiding presence of God? That's what he said. Amen. He will not forsake the works of his own hand. That's us. It's the Lord that made us. And it's the Lord, Randy Jones, that saved you. And he will not forsake the work of his hands. Tina Jones, it was God that saved you. And, amen, gave you life in this world. Praise God. Yes, and just as you're holding your little daughter in your hands back there in the lobby tonight, Jesus has got you in his arms, and he's holding you the same way. You don't have to be afraid. You're the works in his hands. Praise God. He gave you life, and he saved you. And he said, Lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. Praise God. I wondered who in the world that was shouting back there. I saw things going through the air. Amen. And it was Jennifer. Praise God. Swimming again, Brother Hughes. Amen. Getting in. Fell out in the aisle. Hey, God ain't going to forsake the work of his hand. He said, I will never Leave thee, nor forsake thee, even to the end of the world. And that hasn't come yet, Princess Stuart. Amen, Roy Stuart. The end hasn't come yet, and he has not forsaken us yet. Amen. Amen. Did you know? She stood in for Judy, Brother Setzer, a while ago. Amen. Princess did. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord knows where Judy is tonight. He will not leave her nor forsake her. <laughs> the Lord knows where Glory and Doyle is tonight. He will not leave them nor forsake them. Amen. The Lord knows where Jeremy is. He's got his number. Amen. And young Jeremiah, praise God. Woo! Amen. Is about to feel the hand of God. Salvation, praise God. He's about to see the reality of God like he's never seen it before. Well, the Lord have mercy. I get carried away. I better be careful what I'm a saying. Amen. But this ain't me a talking. I didn't get this message. Praise God. God gave it to me. Hallelujah. And God's speaking to somebody tonight. If you're in trouble, stand to your feet and claim the presence of God for your deliverance. Let's all stand to our feet tonight. Claim deliverance for these. Amen. Lord, 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 Lord. Hallelujah. Revival is the answer. In the time of trouble. Glory to God. We learn in the time of revival that God has not forsaken us. Glory to God. Jesus said it. I believe it. His word cannot lie. It's written in the Bible. Hallelujah. I believe it till I die. Praise him tonight. Amen. Oh, little child of God, besieged and beleaguered child of God, Weak and strictly saint, take strength from the Lord tonight. You that have been pounded down by personal failure and defeat, take strength from the Lord tonight. Take perfection and completeness. You that want more of God, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be baptized with His power. That's revival when the Holy Ghost moves. Let's raise our hands and ask God to have his way in this altar call tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. 
as they sang tonight, this altar is open and it's for you. Amen. Is your heart troubled tonight about many things? Amen. Take a refuge in the power and spirit of revival. The mighty, pervasive, rolling, holy, ghost revival. Praise God. Steam rolling over all the powers of hell and darkness. Pushing back demonic forces. Pushing back unbelief. Hope is reborn. Faith is reborn. Courage is reborn. Hallelujah. We become encouraged to continue the battle. Yes. Because the Lord walks the aisles. The Lord walks the land. As they sing, we invite you to God's altar of prayer. If you're unsaved, dissatisfied with your status, you have a guilt complex tonight, you can lose it all. Right here at the altar. Take refuge in God. Get wrapped up in Jesus. Turn loose of the world. Say yes to God. He'll help you now. He is helping us. He is strengthening us. He is giving us victory. Praise God. Come on. As they sing, we invite you to avail yourself of the bounty of heaven. Unlock the doors of heaven's coffers. Let Jesus touch your need. you are. 